Their winds are powerful, sometimes reaching 250 miles per hour. The sheer force is unstoppable, ripping homes into mere shreds, splinters. In April 2011, a record number of killer tornadoes tore across the southern U.S., 178 tornadoes in one day. These were large, violent, long-lasting tornadoes, not the little garden variety twisters. Some of these things were on the ground for an hour or two, even three, a mile wide, EF3 to EF5 strength. It set the new standard for how bad tornadoes can be in the U.S. 328 people in seven states died. 236 of those were in Alabama. Tuscaloosa was among the city's hardest hit, an outbreak we may never see again in our lifetime. There are a lot of theories why the tornado outbreak was so bad. I think the one that holds the most merit is La Nina. The cooling of the Pacific that produced all the snow and all the cold up north has energized the jet stream. The winds aloft are much stronger than they normally are in April and May. The stronger the winds aloft, the better the potential for wind shear and these supercell thunderstorms tapping that wind shear to spin up a tornado. Ever since the movie Twister, we've become a nation obsessed. Experts will often chase storms, risking their lives just to get video and learn more about tornadoes. So what exactly is a tornado and how does it form? The answer, a tornado is a rotating column of air that often extends from a supercell thunderstorm and touches the ground. A tornado is just a violent updraft within a thunderstorm. You need a severe thunderstorm. Only one in a hundred thunderstorms will ever go on to produce a tornado. But you need a lot of wind shear. Winds changing direction and speed as you rise up through the atmosphere. And under certain conditions, a thunderstorm updraft can focus that wind shear and actually create a spinning vortex. The appearance is that of a funnel. Some look like ropes, others are larger and more destructive, known as wedge tornadoes. America sees more tornadoes than any nation on Earth, more than Russia, more than China. We are number one. The same geographical features that make America so beautiful. You know, the dry deserts of the Southwest, the bios of the Deep South. You basically have this intersection, this conglomeration of frontal boundaries, Cool air from the north, moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, dry desert air sweeping in from the southwest. And when these all mix, you can have the ingredients that can spin up tornadoes. While you can hear thunder or see lightning during a thunderstorm, a tornado is a little more unpredictable. Scientists have been able to try and track tornadoes and get a better understanding of where they're headed, but predicting their path is nearly impossible. 30 years ago, the average lead time for a tornado was six minutes. That's it. Now it's up to 13 minutes. Weatherbug has been working on improving lead times to help keep you safe. The Weatherbug Dangerous Thunderstorm Alert, or WDTA, provides advanced notification of the increased threat of severe weather. This new notification is issued through the Weatherbug desktop application, weatherbug.com, Weatherbug Schools, Weatherbug Mobile, and Weatherbug Professional Products. The WDTA alert is issued when there is a high frequency of lightning detected by the Weatherbug Total Lightning Network, indicating the increased potential for lightning strikes, heavy rain rates, high winds, hail, or tornadic activity. They're capricious, they're unpredictable. We have all this technology to track them once they form, but we have no idea, hours in advance, which towns are going to get blasted and which towns are going to be spared. The intensity of tornadoes is measured with the enhanced Fujita scale, named after Theodore Fujita, which is why you will hear meteorologists saying EF and a number. EF0 is the weakest, with winds between 65 and 85 miles per hour. The strongest is an EF5, with winds greater than 200 miles per hour. These were EF4s, EF5s, winds up around 200 miles an hour. Even a well-constructed home is going to be scraped right down to the foundation. So unless you're in a basement, you can't survive a direct strike from an EF4, EF5 tornado. That's just the sad reality. How can you stay safe? When tornado watches are issued, you should be on the lookout for storms that could become strong enough for tornadoes. Listen to weather bug alerting tools, your NOAA weather radio, or local TV and radio stations for updates. 
If a tornado warning is issued, immediately head to a basement if you have one. Stay away from windows and get under a sturdy object such as a table. In places without a basement, go to the lowest floor. Avoid windows. A hallway or bathtub is a good spot. Crouch as low as you can to the floor with your hands covering your head. Never try to weather a storm in a mobile home, car, or truck. If you are caught outdoors, look for a shelter. But if one is not near, lie flat, face down in a ditch or the lowest area you can find and cover your head with your hands. Tornadoes will drop anywhere. They can cross mountains, they can cross lakes and rivers, and they can hit cities. Everybody needs to have a tornado action plan, just like you go through fire drills at home. Most injuries and deaths are from flying debris during a tornado. That's why you should never try to get closer to the funnel. Instead, head the opposite direction to get as far away as possible. For Weatherbug, I'm meteorologist Bay Scroggins.